Well, hello everyone, it's me, Omar32, showing you today how to speed up your computer from speeding up your RAM or freeing up your RAM to speeding up your, your hard drive speed and speeding up your internet speed and the speed of the processing. Uh, first, uh, first of all, I'll speed. I'll tell you a speed tweak to speed up your menu showing. Like when you right-click like this, it makes this busy icon. Then opens the menu. We shall go to start right here. Reggie bid and enter that. And go to. H key current user go open the control panel and go to desktop you find a couple of names 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 go to the menu show delay and right click it and click on modify and and erase this and put the value the value data data to set it to zero and close it You'll see. I'll show you the effect it has done. Then there is another speed tweak to speed up your computer. Is by freeing up your RAM. There's a program called RAM Booster 2.0. It frees up your RAM to the possible extent. Here I've got it, but you can Google it to from Google from Google you can find it and then you must edit your options right here first of all set if you want set the auto optimization to on so check this box and I've got like one gigs of RAM so my auto optimization level is 102 that's 10% of my RAM of my total RAM and 116 is also 10% is also the 11% then like if you like if you've got like 2 gigs it, this will be 204 and this will be like um, to something to something I can remember so or you can choose the optimize option I've choose the target level of free RAM 512 megabyte and of course uh, in the options here it's not by the gigabyte it's by the megabyte so make sure you check that you understand this so one gigs of RAM is without one ten twenty four megabytes of RAM, so two gigabytes is twenty forty eight uh, megabytes of RAM. So you can choose the optimize option right by clicking this. It's trying to free up five twelve megabyte. Wait, here it is. It's free five thirteen five fourteen, and you could go minimize it. To the taskbar right here and okay there's another speed tweak to increase the speed of the processing and the hard drives and opening the your hard drives from my computer there's a program called Oslogix disk defrag you can google it too you'll find it find it or I'll put it in the description you'll find it in the description click on it it will open like this here it is I like got 20 mega gigs of byte and C so I'll press next it shows everything that's happening in front of you Okay, I'll minimize this and I will show you the progress when it finishes. There's another speed tweak for speeding up your internet. Right in the search here, G P E D I T dot M S C. 
here it is click it it will open a window like this administrative temp go to computer configuration here and click on it and go to network double click it and double click QoS packets packets schedule scheduler sorry and go to limit reservable bandwidth and double click it a window will pop up like this uh, check the enable check it to enable check enable and right here zero and press apply ok and close this There's another speed tweak to increase the speed of the of the windows and the opening of the programs. What's this? Sorry for that. And what the heck? Here's the we should go to user user accounts and Go, click on turn user account control on or off continue by unchecking this box you will disable the most annoying thing in Windows Vista is the user account control the thing that pop ups when you open anything in Windows Vista so uh, another thing I forgot it completely you go to start my to computer and right click computer and go to properties go to system adva advanced system settings this is the user account control pop up and go to settings check it check the custom there are a couple of options uh, most of them most of uh, most of these options most of us users of Windows Vista don't need like um, fade or slide when sorry fade or slide tooltips into view I don't need that or fade out menus items after clicking I don't need that too I don't need sh sh to show shadows under menus and I don't need to slide open box combo boxes or slide text taskbar buttons that's it and press the apply okay and okay let's see if I forgot something um Nah, that's it. So, this was Omar32. Thanks for watching. Hope you've uh, hope this video have helped you. Um, oh, okay. And for this options to work, you must restart your computer and.